raindrops Tuesday morning. Faith based leaders stood firm in their message. These students have taken a courageous stance against the unjust and disproportionate use of force that has resulted in the death of thousands of innocent civilians, including women and children. The group known as Atlanta's Multi-Faith Coalition for Palestine discussed the arrests of 28 protesters at Emory last Thursday, with 20 of them being from the university, according to Emory. Tonight, the faith leaders are asking for charges to be dropped for school leaders to denounce the violence that occurred during the arrests and also asking Georgia colleges to divest from Israel. We're asking for justice. We're asking for transparency. We're asking for divestment yeah. and we're asking you to drop the charges. Yeah. Today's conversation comes as the Jewish holiday of Passover is nearing an end. And for many Jews, like Nafar Shamblis, owner of Ali's Cookies near Emory's campus, this week is filled with mixed feelings. It's always a bit uh, hard and painful to celebrate Jewish holidays or singing the, the song for Israel uh, because our heart is painful because of what's happening uh, in Israel and in the world. It seems sometimes... Uh, it seems like the whole world is going crazy. And Shabli says she's experienced anti-Semitism at work, including as recently as the last week. There was a person that vandalized uh, the back of the store. He's tried to cover the camera with paint. She feels the timing of this past week's events happening during Passover week is no coincidence. Well, it's hard to watch. We've been through a lot. Uh, we received threats over the phone and emails and lots of hate. Adding that despite the threats, she will continue to display the star of David in her business. I believe that we should be strong and united and we just need to keep going even if it's hard right now. Tonight, as religion has taken center stage here on Emory's campus, we're also awaiting a vote by faculty members. They are expected to vote whether they have confidence in how Emory University's president has handled things over the last week. At last check, officials told us that that online voting should be complete by midweek, but we haven't further heard any further updates. For now, reporting live from Emory University's campus, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News. All right, Brittany.